pass through distillation. Part 6 Heat Pipes Imagine that with some copper pipe and a pair of end caps, we constructed an enclosed vessel, removed all the air, and put in a small amount of water. The liquid water would gravitate to the lowest part of the enclosure, while the rest of the chamber would be filled with water vapor. Adding heat to the lower end of the vessel would cause some liquid to boil, increasing the internal temperature and pressure. When heat is withdrawn at the far end of the pipe, some condensation occurs and the condensed water rolls back to the lowest end by gravity. This device is known as a heat pipe. Its function is to convey heat from hot to cold with little thermal resistance. This simple heat pipe works very poorly when positioned horizontally because gravity no longer induces the liquid working fluid to flow back to the hot end. If the hot end goes dry, there is no longer any vapor being generated and the heat pipe stops working. In the 1960s, NASA solved this problem by introducing a metallic wick on the inside of the pipe. Heat pipes with internal wicks rely on capillary action rather than gravity to return liquid working fluid to the hot end. The wick also distributes the liquid around the entire inner perimeter greatly increasing the effective surface area for heat transfer. Although there is much more that can be said about heat pipes themselves, our present interest is in their relevance to pass through distillation. In Unit 5 we introduced the Stripper Absorber Module, or SAM, and showed it containing a bank of heat exchange coils shared by both its chambers. The function of the shared coils is to move heat from the warm absorber chamber to the cooler evaporator chamber. A bank of heat pipes can perform the same function. The heat exchange bundle differs in that it comprises hundreds of hermetically sealed heat pipes rather than a network of interconnected tubing. This simplifies the construction of a SAM so profoundly that it increases the utility of pass-through distillation technology. In this animation, a heat pipe SAM is being dismantled for routine cleaning. The bundle slides out easily as a completely independent subassembly. Two rubber end seals, a top seal, and two liquid distribution trays are detached for separate cleaning, leaving the heat pipe bundle fully exposed. In some applications, a manual spray wash may be adequate. Others may demand more stringent measures. In all cases, the simplicity of the geometry saves time in cleaning. This is arguably the simplest SAM that can be built. There are a myriad of other possible designs that add certain complexities in exchange for application-specific enhancements. There may be applications that could justify the added complexity of a shared heat exchange coil. But in the design process, simple is always a good starting point. It has been the aim of this unit to explain what heat pipes are and how their application to the construction of SAMs makes pass-through distillation a more attractive technology.